Hey guys, just um, just a check in, just checking in, just annoyed and frustrated. It's been, it's only been just over two weeks since I started doing this and changing up my routine. And like, like I said, I was cutting back, right? So I was cutting back. But then I thought like it would improve and I, I think it has like the the pimples that I have here Which are the, I guess the most severe are like dying which is good But I'm still like like getting stuff like things are growing like this is new right right here This is new who invited you ain't nobody asked you to come ain't nobody want you here Oh, uh, and like my f cheeks are itchy and I'm trying real hard not to touch my face But I'm one of those people who like to to pick at their face. I know it's really gross, but I just, I can't help it. It's like this weird sensation. Anyways, so I, I'm getting frustrated the fact that I'm like, I'm learning more and I'm finding out more information, but then I'm just like getting different information. So I don't know like where to go and where to begin. And I know the steps of how you put the stuff on your face matters, but to what extent and how much am, am I like really just screwing myself if I don't put it in the correct order? And so it's just like things like that. And then I'm finding out, for example, so I bought some rosehip seed oil um, and I've been putting it on my face, but only to find out that it has vitamin C components in it. Like I'm still not sure. I like guess what I saw, but I'm also putting on uh, the AHA and the BHA, the acid exfoliation, solution on my face and I'm thinking, oh, is that just because it has vitamin C in the rose hip oil, rose hip seed oil, is that affecting my face? Is it like like counter counter reacting? Is it just like not working? And is it like making me break out more? And so that's frustrating just because I'm finding out these little tidbits of information. And I was talking to my friend today and I asked him what his skincare routine was. And he said, you know, it's really subjective. It really is a trial and error. And I, I, I kind of know that. Like, I, I don't want to believe it. I want it to be like, this one thing will make your face clear for everybody. And it's just really easy, but it's not. I didn't realize that, but I don't want to acknowledge it because I know that one thing is going to take time. Like it's been two weeks. Or has it been two weeks? Did I say that? Or it's been like a week or almost two weeks. And I'm already just like frustrated and complaining about it. And I know that it's going to take time. It's one thing. And also it is going to be trial and error. I'm going to have to like try things and my face is going to have to react and I'm going to have to um, realize that. So... Uh, that's part of the reason why I've cut back on like just throwing random stuff on my face and trying to keep it simple. Anyways, I just wanted to check in with that. Guys, sorry for my little rant from yesterday. And yeah, that was from yesterday. I realized I'm wearing the same clothes, but I shower before I go to sleep. So I usually wear my sleeping clothes two or three days in a row. If you don't shower, before you go to sleep. That's just nasty. You just like lay in your own filth. Anyways, that's a whole nother topic. After my little rant yesterday, I was watching more videos and trying to learn more and still feeling a bit frustrated. But then I stumbled upon another one of Leah's videos that I will link up here for you guys to check out. And I think it makes total sense. I am going to, have I mentioned this before? I'm, I'm going to like strip down my skincare routine. She called it the skincare diet challenge. And so that is what I am going to do. I am doing bare minimum of just only essentials, just cleansing my face and moisturizing it. That's it. I'm not putting any actives, no vitamin C, no AHA, no BHA, none of any of that. It's just, I think it's just doing too much to my face. My face is just like, what are you doing? Like, stop. And so I thought I'd give it a try. Just because my face is breaking out anyways, like, could it get any worse? So I thought that this would be a good idea and that it'll reset my skin. So I'm going to try this for a month and see how it goes. Our little friend is still here. I asked him to leave. He said, no, nah, I'm good. I'm going to stay right here. So, I mean, I'm just going to have to deal with that. So that's, that, that's it. I'm going to try this. This is going to be the thing for at least a month and then we'll see how it goes from there. I'm, I'm excited, but I'm also very impatient about it. So it's been a day and I'm just like, is my face clear? Has anything changed? No, nothing's changed. I have this cluster messes right here and right here. Get here nice and close for you guys to look at. 
Yeah. And those parts that, oh, let me get to you right here. Those parts that you can't see, that I guess I will on camera, but like if I do this, I guess you still can't see, do this against the light, you can see like little bumps. And also like along here and here. I don't know how to get rid of, uh, I don't know how to get rid of those. Does anybody know? Like I looked online and people were saying that they're not pimples, they're just bumps from like yeast and stuff. Is that a thing? I believe them. But how do you get rid of them? Uh, oh, I have a, I, oh, I just made a new Instagram page. So just to document this like in pictures instead of in video because I think in video the camera kind of makes it look not as bad as it really is. It looks okay. Maybe pictures will do better. So I'm gonna post pictures and just kind of like what what is it? What is it? Products that I'm using? Just like my skincare everything and just like my progress on how uh, all of this is going. So if you guys want to follow that, I will link it down below. It's called Ock Jeff. Was it Ock Ock underscore Jeff? I wanted to be creative, do something with like skincare. So I was gonna go awkward underscore Jeff skincare challenge or something, but that is really long. And so I kept it really short. So it's just awk underscore Jeff if you guys want to keep up with my progress and just what I'm doing with all of this. Uh, go follow me there. Anyways, uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. If you guys have any tips or any suggestions on what I can do or what these like yeast bumps are. I don't know why I did quotation marks. Yeast bumps are, please let, if, let me know if you get them too and how you deal with them. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to follow me on social media and check out my other videos on my YouTube channel that are not related to this. Well, related to me, just not my face. So, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!